Hey guys, it's Rory Thompson here. I am bringing you an introduction video because I think that's very, very, very important. I am an ASC certified mechanic. I'm also a PC certified master mechanic, which means basically I work on oil field equipment. Um, I also own my own business on the side for three years. I did mobile automotive repair, you know, fully licensed, insured, all that good stuff. And I ended up selling my business and the guy who bought it for me took it to a whole other level, way smarter on the business side of it than I am. So the purposes of my videos are not just to say, hey, here's how you change your alternator or you know, here's how you do this. It's showing the little tips and tricks that make the difference between a shade tree mechanic job versus a professional job. Let me give you an example. If you change out your alternator, you can go down to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, whatever, get the part, bolt it in, throw your belt back on, and you're good to go. There, there's a thousand videos on YouTube that'll show you how to do that, but where I make the difference is it's cleaning the mounting surfaces. It's putting dielectric grease in the electrical connectors so that that way you don't have gunk and crap so that way the next time you end up having to replace it you're having to fight and fuss and you know screw around with it. it it's these little tips and tricks that take your job from a regular job to a professional job and the other thing is is even if you don't do the job yourself you understand what's involved in it so that that way if you decide hey i don't want to change my alternator i'm going to take it to a shop or a dealership or whatever you understand the whole process that's involved. So that way when they say, oh, hey, it's $400, depending on your car, you go, huh, well, you know, uh, yeah, that, that actually makes sense because there's more to it than just changing out the alternator. There's other things that are going on. But I'm also going to teach you tips and tricks on, you know, how to, you know, do the job correctly and do it safely because, and, and I tell people this all the time, safety is paramount because you're working on a car that weighs two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 pounds. You know, if you just go slinging stuff around, it, it, it will, it will hurt you and probably kill you. But if you follow these tips and tricks, you should be totally okay. And I'm, making these videos from the perspective of someone who knows absolutely nothing about cars. Like they know what a screwdriver is. They know how to pop the hood. That's where I'm bringing this from. So it's not to say, Oh, okay. You know, Oh, he knows so much more. He, he's talking to, that's not the point. The point is I'm trying to take anybody to be able to do 90% of the maintenance on their car themselves. Now, am I going to turn you into an ASC certified mechanic? No. Let's just be real here. That's not going to happen. Um, but my mindset when I work on cars and I do these videos is very, very simple. I'm doing the job right or I'm not doing it at all. It's just bar none. And that's the mindset you really have to have. And I always tell people, you know, in that example with the alternator, you can just throw a new part in, plug it in. But I say, class it up, do it right. Put the dielectric grease in there. You know, make sure your mounting surfaces are clean. You know, while you're in there, you have to take the old belt off, put a new one on. You know, little things like that. And here's the thing. Do I know every single way to do a particular job? No. There are mechanics out there that have many, 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 many more years of experience than I do. They probably know more tricks than I do. And if you are someone that knows all these or no other tips and tricks, by all means, drop them in there. You know, the more ways you know how to skin that cat, the better. And, you know, the other thing that I was wanting to point out is I don't want it to be like you see on a lot of YouTube videos. You know, like I might pull the alternator out the bottom on this particular one. I'm doing it out the top because it's on the top. But... You know, some people do it one way, some people do it the other way. And I hate that mindset of, oh, you didn't do it my way, so it's the wrong way. No. You know, 
as long as you do the job safely, correctly, you know, it, as long as the job gets done and it's done correctly, however you do it is fine. You know, I may do it one way, someone else may do it a different way. You know, I, I want this to be a positive thing where we all learn from each other. And if you have questions, as always, drop them in the comments, I'll get to them. The, the purposes of these videos is to, like I said, bring you from having some knowledge, having no knowledge, having, you know, maybe you've tinkered a little bit here and there and, and take you from that place to, oh, I feel confident and comfortable doing, like I said, 90% of the maintenance on your car. There's some things that I would highly recommend that you don't do, you know, um, like I did a clutch job the other day and the guy was like, I, I kind of have the general idea. I'm like, yeah, if you know, you, you're talking two, three, possibly 400 pound transmission. If you, you aren't understanding that you definitely need to hire a professional or at least get a friend that knows what they're doing. So that way you're not alone. Where I'd like to see these videos continue on to is is I'd like to link up with other people that do the same thing that I'm doing. And so that way you have a library of resources because there's a crazy way to explain this, but you know, maybe the way I do it, you, you, you know, you look at that and go, oh, I don't feel comfortable doing it that way. But then you look at someone else and they go, oh, well, you know, here's another way to do it. That's great. You know, I'm not here to try to be the, I am the almighty mechanic. That's not me. So I just wanted to drop this video in, kind of get you introduced to me and my mindset. And hopefully, hopefully we can all learn together, have some fun, work on our cars, and afterwards maybe have a barbecue. That'd be awesome. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, drop your questions below. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.